Hi guys, and welcome to the University of Bath. For this live experiment, we're going to have a look at how fit, or indeed unfit, I am. So we're going to be performing something known as a VO2 max test. And basically, it looks at how fit I am, how much oxygen I can get into my body. Now, elite athletes perform this very regularly to see how they're doing and also to kind of finely tune their training regime. But also, the average Joe can do it as well to have a look at how fit you are. So first things first, I've got a heart rate monitor on. Um, I've had my height and my weight measured. And now I need to get a face mask on so we can measure those oxygen levels. OK, now, the reason... I'm wearing this uh, rather fetching mask is we're very interested in my inhaled breath and my exhaled breath and we're particularly interested in the amount of oxygen that I'm getting into my system because your body uses that oxygen for a chemical reaction to create all the energy that you need for anything that you do. You breathe in the oxygen, it's about one fifth of the air around us and it, it goes down into your lungs and through your alveoli into your blood and it's sent to your muscles. Now, all the food that you've eaten, that's digested down into simple sugars, known as glucose. And that oxygen reacts with that glucose and it produces energy, and also some carbon dioxide and water, and it's that energy that you're particularly interested in. That reaction is known as aerobic respiration, and that's what fuels your body, that's what creates all the energy you need. So, this VO2 max test is going to go at a series of levels. And each time we're going to be having a look at how much oxygen I'm getting in until I can't get in any more, and that is my VO2 max. Can you tell me what speed and for how long we're going? Yep, so we'll go at 10 kilometers an hour for three minutes. Okay, so you're halfway through the stage now, so a minute and a half left. Okay, so we've got hands down to the side, hands up. That's level one. Now, Jonathan is uh, going to take some blood from the end of my finger, so look away now if you don't like blood. And uh, I'll tell you why he's doing that very soon. Okay, so my heart rate reached about 142, was the maximum then, and I was breathing just over three litres of oxygen in a minute. Um, so time to crank it up and go for level two. What speed is this? This is 12 kilometres an hour. How's it feeling though? Harder? That's okay. Okay. Okay, a minute left now. Keep going. 13. Somewhat hard. Okay, we're going to jump up now, so hands down the side. Oh, that was harder. Yeah. <laughs> Max heart rate was 158 on that one. 158, so it's jumped quite a bit. That's because my body is uh, really struggling to get that oxygen into where it's needed. About 3.8 litres per minute, but uh, something different is going to start happening in my body when I go to the next stage. Oh, faster! So what's happening now is I'm having to work at such a level that I actually can't create enough energy just using all that oxygen. So I'm getting a lot of oxygen into my system and all that oxygen is being used aerobically. It's reacting with that glucose to create energy in that reaction I showed you earlier. But right now that doesn't make the full amount of energy. It makes like this much out of this much that I need. So the other bit is made anaerobically, without oxygen, and that is my body just breaking down the glucose straight into energy, but only a smaller amount, and releasing something called lactic acid. What are my lactate levels? So, at 10 kilometers an hour, it was 2.4. Yeah. It then went up to 3.2. Yeah. And then the last stage, at 14 kilometers an hour, it went up to 5.6. Yeah. And okay, so that's why we're taking the bloods. So we're measuring something called lactate. So that lactic acid that's produced in anaerobic respiration then breaks down into lactate. So that shows me that I'm over that threshold and now I'm definitely producing some of my energy anaerobically. And that's really gonna start to hurt. Whoa! <laughs> that's like a full on sprint. We're at 16 kilometers an hour. That's fast, right? Yep, yeah, that's fast. <laughs> okay, third seconds left. Very hard. Two, one, and jump up. 
Oh. So the power rate's going up to 178. And we're taking 4.51 litres of oxygen then. Okay. So, it's so not, up. yeah, it's going up, isn't it? Yeah. Which means it's definitely slowing down the increase though, right? So I'm yeah. approaching my VO2 max and I'm approaching that maximum amount of oxygen I can get into my system. And your lactate was 6.3 this time, so it's gone up again. It's jumped massively, so a lot more anaerobic. Okay, so in three, two, one. So we've crunched all the numbers, and from all that data and my body weight, you come up with a score called your VO2 max. Now the average punter is probably about 45-ish, um, elite footballers are probably between about 55 and 65, and Mo Farah is probably at kind of 80 and above, and today I was at 58, so pretty chuffed with that. Um, from that we will come up with a training regime, work out exactly what levels I should work at to uh, increase that VO2 max score, to increase the amount of time I can stay in that aerobic period. So there you go, that should answer the question of how fit or indeed unfit I am. So until next time, happy head squeezing.